Part 2 on the story of Prophet Ibrahim alayhis salam. On the eve of this celebration, the Prophet Ibrahim, A.S., had a plan to carry out his mission. Ibrahim knew that the townsfolk would leave to share a huge feast, so he went into their temple to carry out his mission. His mission was to demolish their idols, except one, the largest idol, so that he could explain to them the error of their ways. When the townspeople returned, they were horrified. They quickly remembered that Ibrahim had been encouraging them to worship Allah alone and to submit to the monotheistic faith of Ibrahim. They asked him, Are you the one who has done this? Ibrahim said no. This statue, the biggest of them all has done it. Ask them about it. The townspeople replied, You know they cannot speak. And Ibrahim said, Then how can you worship things that can neither speak nor see? They can't even protect themselves. Have you all lost your minds? They were silent, knowing that Ibrahim had made a valid point, but their pride wouldn't allow them to reject the idols they'd been worshipping for generations. Anger surged in the crowd. The decision to burn him alive was sanctioned by Nimrod, the king of Babylon, and his priests. News traveled fast, and thousands of people from all over the kingdom arrived to witness the execution. A huge pit was dug in the ground.